Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your Captain Shreyas, your physics master teacher on the Vedantu J English channel. When we conducted a lot of sessions for Amrita entrance examination, especially for physics, chemistry, mathematics and all of that and the mock tests and the questions, a lot of you requested, sir, fine, I'm giving this exam, but what if I don't clear this exam and what if I miss this exam? Is there an alternate way to get into Amrita College? And let me tell you the answer right in the beginning. Yes, you can enter in Amrita University for engineering without AEEE as well. Although best option is via AEEE because many seats are reserved via the entrance exam. But there is an alternate route. And I will give you all the details of that as well. Also, why you should consider this college, like I mentioned it on the thumbnail, uh, you know, uh, we have seen that on the website itself, they have mentioned that the average package is around 9 lakhs, which is fairly good. And also the highest package has gone up to 56 lakhs. And there are two new courses, which I just saw that they have introduced, which is an artificial intelligence and data science. Just a couple of days back, I made video on whether to choose computer science, data science or artificial intelligence. You can check it out in the video section. All right. Hi Azad, hi Prishila, hello Riru, welcome everyone. I hope I am audible and visible to all of you. So let's uh, first of all understand what this university is all about. I'll give you all the details, only then apply, okay? Without that, just don't blindly apply everywhere because getting information, having that awareness, knowing the branches, placements, everything should be done properly. Don't just apply randomly. I'll give you all the details. Okay, now this college was founded in 1994 by Sri Mata Amritananda Mai Devi. Okay, and uh, she's uh, done a, a fabulous job in, you know, philanthropy and all of that. So, it's a deemed university from 2003. It's NAC A double plus accredited. Now, basically NAC is a body which gives, uh, you know, ratings to all different colleges and universities. So, obviously, you should go for minimum A, A plus when it is a triple plus and all that it is very good a double plus is also very nice only okay fair enough nrf ranking wise it is seventh ranking but you know nrf rankings can be either way so i will always take it with a pinch of salt but definitely uh, you know with the parameters set by nrf it is a decent university definitely it's a very good university now there are nine campuses please understand that some of the campuses are really good some of the campuses are fairly new, so you should know that uh, uh, campuses like Coimbatore definitely or even uh, Chennai or even Kochi, you should look out for these campuses. Amravati is also good, My Bangalore is also definitely good, Mysore is also good, Faridabad, these are fairly new, uh, you know, campuses. So, there are totally nine campuses and you can definitely check out, uh, you know, which city is close for you, see have a look at the campus see in that particular campus what are the placements because see whatever data i'm giving you is the overall placement data although once you are from amrita university the uh, placement cell will help you you know in any of the placements but the older uh, campuses is where you should mainly look forward to let's look at the branches first okay now see there is aerospace engineering also in cb now cb stands for over here coimbatore campus now there are some new branches which i told you look at it the ones in red asterisk are the new branches which are the ones artificial intelligence data science in quantum technology okay it is there in coimbatore okay so coimbatore being the one of the oldest so guys you should definitely aim for getting into coimbatore or chennai or bangalore all right nagar coil all these are uh, good all right then talking about the next branch which has been recently launched artificial intelligence data science cyber physical systems and security now those of you do not know cyber security is one of the biggest uh, i would say uh, trend which is growing uh, you know in the job market because lot of people are needed in the cyber security space not just in india but abroad then the next one is autonomous agents and robotics so aid this is also a new branch which has been introduced because you know in the near future Everything will be handled by artificial intelligence and robotic, uh, you know, delivery or be it robotic cleaning or robotic food making, you know. So, all these things are the upcoming trends, futuristic branches. So, these are the things which you should definitely look forward. Even medical engineering is there. So, some of you who feel that I want to go into healthcare, I want to 
do something in ai machine learning with medical engineering that option is also there and obviously medical sciences are going to progress simultaneously with engineering and that is the demand healthcare is not just going to be limited to doctors nurses or you know allied medicine it will involve a lot of engineers or the pure branches of computer science and pure artificial intelligence is also there electronics electrical is also there this chart has it all in which uh, campuses which branches are there okay i hope this is ab absolutely clear so um, um, Amritpuri or even for example Bangalore, Coimbatore and basically Chennai. If you are looking at these campuses, most of the branches will be available. Like I said, the highest salary is there on the website also. It's around 57 lakhs and average salary is 9.2 lakhs. Also, uh, stipend and internship is also something which is very important you should look forward for. See, usually students look at highest package. But remember, highest package, not everyone will get. Few students will get or close to that so you should always also look at average package say for example i'm an average student what will i get and you should also see whether that highest package is really good because what if i perform really well then i should have scope of earning well also internships matter because when you're studying only during the vacation breaks or maybe as a part of the curriculum only you will be allowed and you will be asked to work in companies Take part, a pro, take part in a project or do some activity inside a company or an organization and you will be paid, you will get certificates and you will probably even receive an offer even while studying only. So that is called as pre-placement offer where you might get a job offer just because you have done really well in the project work or in the internship. Okay, so even 1,25,000 per month was given to a couple of students. Uh, that is the highest stipend amount. Now, 92% were placed in last year and there were 300 company visits. So, as per the website, these were the companies which were visiting the campus last year, right from Amazon, Blue Star, Bosch, Cisco, Dell, Deakin, ENY, UAE, Hyundai, IBM, Mercedes-Benz, JP Morgan, Microsoft, Oracle, Samsung, Swiggy, Tata, Alexi, Toyota, okay, Yokogawa, Wipro, Infosys, Honeywell, Elgi, SAP, Synopsys, Tata Technologies, KLA, so Apollo, so many companies are there, Zoho, you might have heard about these companies, these are some new age startups, some are very old traditional companies, some are core branch companies, some are into finance, some are into consultancy, so a mix bag is there which is good, you should look for which companies come, see just don't blindly go with the package, see what kind of companies, sometimes what happens, only consultancy firms are coming and Sometimes only finance companies are coming. Maybe that is not your core interest. So you should look at variety of companies because suddenly you will realize in third year, oh, I am actually interested in this. So that option should be there. Got it, my dear students? Okay. So also there were some startups which were incubated, which is a good thing in Amrita that they are promoting the startup culture. Around 184 startups were incubated, meaning they were giving that atmosphere. They were providing that logistical or uh, you know, mentorship support, guidance support, or even financial support for those startups. There were 40 mentors and there were 46 patents filed, which is good. So, uh, also they are giving, uh, uh, you know, foreign exchange. They are also allowing students to study in foreign as an exchange program. So, foreign students will come to India, Indian students will go abroad. And that program is also there. They have 160 tie-ups right from Germany, US, Netherlands, Sweden, Dublin, and France and Italy okay so these are the foreign universities with which they have tied up so you need to work hard guys it's not for everyone you need to work hard so that you get into these exchange programs you never know something might click getting my point all this is necessary guys because just don't look at college and i have a ranking many people don't see the details you should look at all these things okay now let's come to the main part which is admission eligibility wise basically you should be born after first july 2004 you should be a 12th standard student with 60% total marks in maths, physics and chemistry and not less than 55% in any of these subjects. So, say for example, you got 80%, but let's say you got really well or maybe you got 70%, but really well in physics, but really bad in chemistry and chemistry marks are less than 55. So, you will not qualify the eligibility criteria. So, before you apply, check whether you are matching these criteria or else blindly don't apply. So, good thing is it is not very high, it is not 75%, 60% I think easily would have got. Anyways, coming back, 
now admission now this is very important guys this is why you have come here mainly for see amrita entrance examination is also there where 70 percent seats are allocated the only other way is via j means 2025 30 percent of the seats are allocated via j means 30 percent how many of you have written both exams j and amrita how many of you have written just j exam and how many of you have written just a triple e? i don't think anybody would have written just a triple e. if you have given a triple e, 100 percent you would have given j correct or wrong maybe you would have written j there is a chance that you would have missed out on a triple e. how many of you have given both or just written j let me know 30 percent seats are there now you can choose to either apply via amrita entrance or j a j means exam or even both so your chances your probability will increase if you have given both the exams okay so in the counseling in the application form you can fill both or j or uh, just one of them all right clear everyone now how to apply i'll tell you but before that there is also scholarship which is given so around 85 percent of the seats scholarships are available to qualifying students on all the branches for 85 percent of the seats in btech programs and up to 4.5 crores of total pool is there which is offered every year to 300 plus eligible candidates and they are based on a triple e or j main score so this is very important see if you got a very good a triple e score or you have got very good means 90 95 94 percentile also for them it is good so because see if you are getting 97 98 you would have obviously gone into nits right so if you have got 94 95 and maybe you want to do computer science you want to uh, not risk it you want the top branch then obviously this is a good option placements are there companies are there highest package is also good so they can give you scholarships so just check that out if you get a good scholarship go with it guys i mean okay and also based on your scores in the uh, college how you are doing well or not so based on that also they are offering scholarships fees are not very high unless and until uh, you know you don't get any scholarship or you are choosing some branch so depending on the branch also the fees will change because see in computer science what happens you don't have too much of equipment but if you are taking a very practical uh, intense branch maybe electrical electronics so maybe the fees could be a little bit on the higher side so it varies between 2 lakh to 6 lakh this particular website has the complete free structure okay all right this is per annum per every year you have to pay this much this is 2 lakh is nowadays there in even most of the nits and iits also anyways coming back the application form if you want to give only j it is 500 but if you want to apply via both you want to take your best bet then you can go with this particular form which is for 1200 but if you just want a triple e this is 1200 i don't think anybody will be doing this most likely you will be doing this or this okay now how will the admission process be conducted it's simple there is a csap just like you have josa josa is for nits iits like that they have csap which is a centralized platform online platform where you fill up the branches which campus in priority order and which you think you will get and whichever you want you fill it up in topmost to uh, you know lower priorities and based on your preferences and what others have applied and their ranking and their scores you will get the seat now usually even 80 percentiles also get via j means in amrita that's what i've seen in the last couple of years okay so if you have got less than 90 percentile don't be decided you can still get into amrita got it all right now the registration fee once you take part in the counseling it's 5000 rupees keep that in mind and it is non-refundable so if you are in the decent range of percentiles or amrita scores are good enough so please apply for it don't think about you know oh my god 5000 rupees will i lose it so you have to take your chances in different universities right so where is the link link i'll i think i have kept it in the description box itself okay so the link is there in the description box on how to apply so amrita engineering college this link is there just go through that link you can directly see it opens up the website if you have not yet registered please register so that you can start applying via j means this is the best alternative that you have enter your details all the other things like i said 57 lakhs package highest 9 lakhs average 75 percent waivers for top rankers 92 percent students placed important dates csap now this is very important all the important dates 
see the trial round is going to start in 2nd june uh, the first round on 5th june second round 17 june mop up round 28 june classes will start most likely in july or august see this trial round is important there we will understand how the counseling process will happen it is not actual it's like a mock up like you give mock test first round second round what is mop up round mop up round means after all the seats are filled up still some sorry after all the counseling some seats might be left over here and there some students might back out so whatever left over seats are there that is the mop up round is this clear guys okay so take your chances the link i have kept it in the description box i'll also pin it if you want if you have any other doubts please let me know sir i got 7k rank in a triple e 97.3 i mean general uh choose j mains hemoku 100 percent you will get through j mains 100 percent okay go via your j main score a triple is over that's why i made the video because many students might have missed my older videos the announcements we had announced before so that's why i made this video skibidi is that right okay perfect cool so my dear students uh, the link everything i have put up and all the best if you need any other college information please let me know after this session is over i'll make videos for that okay bye bye take care have a great time this was your captain stairs your physics master teacher on the vedantu j english channel do not forget to like this video many people forget that yeah smash that like button thank you so much